Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Road Goes Tech 1 2. In this episode, I will show you how to make a curved station. So, I just made this uh, small uh, junior coaster here, and I want to complete the track by making a curve here. And I actually want the station to be to uh, start here and to finish here. So, um, to do this, we'll need to move some uh, station pieces. Uh, actually, when you look at the station, it, you can actually see three different tiles. So you see the front tile, which has the traffic lights. You can see the middle tile, which has uh, platforms on both sides and a fence. And you can see the back tile, the last tile. Um, it's like the middle tile, but it also has these two little fences here at the back. So you can see it's the last piece. So first we'll just uh, copy all the pieces. So this is the middle piece. Uh, here. And we'll also copy the front piece and the back piece. Alright. Um, now that we have these pieces copied, we can just remove these uh, middle and the middle and last piece and we we'll, can now just complete the track now at the place where we want the station to start or finish where we want the back st uh, space of the station to be we'll just remove the track that's there we'll take the back piece and we paste it here don't forget to rotate it. Uh, yeah, we don't really need the middle piece anymore. Okay. Um, like this, the, the track will work, the station will actually work. So as soon as the train passes the, the back end of the station, it will just slow down like, like it normally would, and it will stop at the front piece. So let's just remove these pieces and I'll show you it works. Of course we still need an entrance and an exit. Um, we cannot actually build an exit on the, the piece that we just pasted, but if we want it there's still a trick we can use. So let's go in Tile Inspector, we'll just copy the exit and we'll paste it here. Now, now we select the exit and we press the make usable button. Now this will be selected as the exit for this station. Now we can remove the existing exit like that. And I'll just quickly rotate it. Just so we can make a path to it. Like that. Alright, then there's something else we need to take into account. The station is now, of course, very short. So you can only have a really short train. So to combat that, we'll just use the disable vehicle limits cheat. And let's make it one train again. And we'll just make the train longer. Uh, I think we can make it a little bit longer. Let's put 16 cars. Yeah, I think that's nice. Alright, the train will now just complete the track like it normally would. Except it will slow down at the back end and just continue on until the front of the station. So it really works like any normal station. Now, um, station, it's, it looks now, uh, the station now looks very incomplete. So, the trick I like to use is just to put wooden coaster track. And just recolor it. Like this. And there you have it. Now the station looks uh, complete again. It works best if you color the wooden track in the same colors as the 
junior coaster or whatever ride you put here. This should work. All right, there you have it. It's a junior coaster with a curved station. Uh, this will work for uh, any ride, and there's some really cool tricks uh, you can do with this. When guests uh, enter the ride, they will actually walk towards their car, uh, which in some situations can look uh, quite funny. But I suggest you uh, experiment with this and uh, try it out. Now, there's some uh, other tricks you can do with this. For example, here I've built a sloped station. So as soon as the cars uh, enter the station, they will travel up. You don't have to worry about uh, the speed of the car, because it will just uh, travel there at constant speed. One thing you will see now is that when guests walk towards their car or towards the exit, uh, they will actually walk in midair. Also at the location of the exit, they will just drop down. So I really don't, uh, <laughs> I don't recommend you using sloped stations. Maybe only if you hide the uh, the exit path. And finally, here's a practical application of this. I made this a river rapid ride. Let me quickly change it into a roller coaster. So here, actually, I also made a really long station. Here's the front. Here's the the exit. Here's the front. Here's the end of the station. And I think this uh, looks really cool. Now it looks like one of those uh, circular uh, entry platforms for a river rapids ride. I use this in a few parks and uh, I really like the way this looks. And I think this is one of the most uh, practical applications of uh, this curve station trick. Anyway, I hope, to, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon in the next uh, tutorial. Alright, see you later!